Hi, in this video, we will show you how easy it is to use Electron WebSocket API to connect to ERT in cloud. We expect to spend 5 minutes on a newly built machine with Java Development Toolkit installed. To finish setting up development environment and to be able to modify, compile, and run the sample application in Java. These are prerequisites before you can run the sample application. First, you should have the credentials to log into the ERT in cloud. Usually, it contains machine ID, password, and client ID. Next, you should have a machine with JDK installed. In this video, we will use a window machine. And next, you should have the stable internet connection. Step 1. Download and extract all the sample files. Visit Refinity GitHub repository for the sample code. Go into WebSocket API. Then go to the example, EDP, and Java. Download all the source files here. I already have them downloaded to my sample application folders. Scroll down to the setup session. Download another two files. I already have them downloaded here. I have Apache and 1.10.8 and Apache IV 2.5.0. Unzip Apache and to any folder. Then unzip the IV 2.5.0.jar to Apache and library folders. Step 2. Prepare the OS environment variable. We will add java underscore home, and underscore home variable, and point them to java and ant folder. We will also add the java and ant binary part to the part variables. Right click on your computers, properties, and click on advanced system settings environment variables news java underscore home then copy the path to your java installation and put it here new another ants home variable and copy the path to your ants home folder and put it here modify the path variable to add the binary part for Java homes and ants home variable. Click OK. Step 3. Compile the sample code. We will use ant command to compile the sample code and download all the dependency library. To do that, first go to your sample, uh, go to your download sample application, and then open the command line from here. So make sure that you have the same content. Then you can run ant command. The first time that you run the ant command, the ant will download all the dependency and then compile your source code. So it's going to take a while.
Once the command is complete, you can see that the binary folders and library folder will be created. So these are all the dependency library. And this is a class that after the end compile your Java source code. Step 4. Run the compile application. So first you have to take note the class part that the end print it out for you. To run the sample application, run the Java command with class part parameter. Then tell the application the main class and all the required parameters. And press enter. Once the API connect to the ERT in cloud, then you will start receiving the information from the ERT in cloud server and then the application just bring it out on the screen. So to quick the application, you can press Ctrl C. Step five, this is an optional step to demonstrate how you can play around with the API by modifying the sample code, recompile the sample code and run it. To modify the sample code, first you have to open the sample code with any text editor, then modify the source code. So in this case, I will modify the request from the normal request to use view feature request. So I add in views and asking only for bit arcs and bit side view. Now, I'm going to recompile the source code by running and you can see that now the application just recompile successfully. Next, I will run the sample application using the same credential. Now you can see that my refresh message only received the field that I'm asking for, which is bit arcs and arc size. I don't receive any other fields because I'm using views feature from the API. For more information, please visit Definitive Developer Portal. And for more sample code, please visit Definitive GitHub repository at the given URLs. I hope that this video will demonstrate how easy it is to getting start using the Electron WebSocket API to connect to ERT in cloud. Thanks for watching.